okay we will start with vectors okay so today we will try to complete vector multiplication okay when we talk about multiplication of vector we will complete about we will study about what is the multiplication of vector what is the product is it scalar vector okay but before that as i told you we will solve one problem which is this problem based on resolution of vector okay yes we will have vector for 2d as well as 3d it's just the components right if we have two component it's 2d if we have all the three components x y as well as z then we will have 3d vector okay now just think about this how many vectors how many vectors do we have here just think about it how many vectors four vector yes right we have four vector yes or no okay very good now if i ask you if i ask you right to plot all the vectors originating from origin so just think about this this vector a is on x axis yes or no this vector a is on x axis right this vector a is on x axis yes or no yes so i can say that vector a vector a is nothing but 100 i cap yes or no okay now vector b when we talk about vector b so vector b is downward direction vector b is downward right and that also negative downward this is a vector a this is a vector b yes or no so i can say that vector b yes from head we will see from head to tail this is action so vector b is 300 minus 300 j cap right minus 300 j cap now when we talk about vector c see this is vector c which is making 30 degree 30 degree right with x axis so we know how to resolve a vector so vector c can be written as it is your which quadrant third quadrant yes or no it is your third quadrant then third quadrant both x component and y component are negative so it will minus now the magnitude is 200 so it will be 200 cos 30 degree i cap minus 200 sin 30 degree j cap yes or no tell me yes or no resolution of vector right that we have studied in last class right so c vector c vector can be written as minus 200 root 3 by 2 i cap minus 200 into 1 by 2 j cap which is minus 100 root 3 i cap minus 100 j cap this is your vector c yes or no this is vector c okay now talk about vector d vector d is this vector right see vector d is this vector and this angle is 60 degree 60 degree so can you tell me what is vector d tell me what is vector d everyone just tell me what is vector d tell me everyone what is vector d Two hundred cos sixty degree, right? Plus or minus? It is in second quadrant, right? Second quadrant. So second quadrant x is negative, na? So minus two hundred cos sixty degree i cap. Yes, Shreya. What about y component? Plus two hundred sine sixty degree j cap. Yes or no? 
right? Yes. So this is minus hundred i cap plus hundred root three j cap. Okay. Got it. Now just tell me. Just tell me. Do you understand resolution of vector now? Can you add all the vectors now? Okay, so I hope all of you understood the vector, right? So you can just add A, B, C, D, and then take the square root, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I hope all of you have solved this problem and understood how to solve resolution of vectors, okay? Now the topic that we are going to study today is dot product of vectors. Now just think about this. Just think about this. When we talk about a vector, when we talk about a vector, right? Multiplication of vector. What do you think? The product of two vector will give me a vector or a scalar. Tell me. The product of two vectors, the product of two vectors will give me a vector or a scalar. Tell me. Scalar, a vector. Many are saying scalar, many are saying vector. So the thing is, multiplication of two vector will give me both vector as well as scalar. Okay, it can give me vector, sorry, scalar as well as vector, right? Because we have two type of multiplication in case of vectors. Okay, for example, when we talk about this physical quantity that you don't you don't know, right? This is torque. So torque is something associated with rotation. So torque is given by this displacement vector into force vector. And this torque is a vector quantity. But when you talk about work done, work done, right? Now work done, work done is also given by F dot R, right? Same force as well as distance. But in one case, torque is a vector. Torque is a vector. This is your vector. But when you talk about work, this is your scalar. Got it, right? So how the product of two same vectors is giving you two different physical quantities. One is vector, one is scalar. W is work done, none it in. In junior classes, we have studied nine class. Okay, sorry, you are in class nine. Yeah, sorry. Work W is work done. Got it, everyone? My bad. W is work done. No, this is multiply. This is multiply. This is not proportional sign. This is multiply. Okay, right. So I can say that this T is torque. T is torque. Torque W is work done. Okay. R is displacement. Na? Navya, R is displacement. F is force. R is displacement. F is force. Okay. Okay. So I said that the product of two vectors can either be vector or scalar depending on the product. So we have two types of product. When we talk about vectors. The first is called as scalar dot product, scalar dot product or scalar product, right? Scalar dot product or scalar product. Okay. Now, when we talk about scalar product, as the name suggests, it is the product of vector which will give you a scalar value. Okay. Right. It is written by dot. So suppose you have vector A and vector B. vector A and vector B, right? So I want to multiply these two. So dot product will be A dot B vector. Okay, now this A dot B vector will be equal to magnitude of A vector into magnitude of B vector into cos 
theta, where theta will be angle between A and B. Theta is angle between A and B. Angle between A and B. Got it? Are you getting this? So if I'm talking about two vectors, R1 and R2, right? The dot product would be magnitude of R1 into magnitude of R2 into cos theta. Okay? This will be your magnitude. Now just think about this. Just think about this. Right? What will be the value of I dot I? I dot I. Just think about this. What will be the value of I dot I? How can you, Yashila, multiplication of vector graphically, right? It's a mathematical operation, na? How can you show 4 into 3 is equal to 12 mathematically? Sorry, graphically, right? Because if I talk about multiplication of vector graphically, it is just the extension of a vector. It will give a new vector. That's it. See, I said I dot I, right? First of all, it will give you a value. It will not give you a vector. And I square naam ki cheez nahi hoti hai. It is magnitude of vector. What is the magnitude of I? Tell me. What is I? I is a unit vector, yes or no? So what is the magnitude of I? One. One into. What is the magnitude of second I? One into cos theta. Cos. What is the angle between I and I? Tell me, what is the angle between I and I? Zero. So it will be cos zero. And what is the value of cos zero degree? Yes, yes, I cap. Cos zero is one. See, I and I. I and minus I. There's a difference, yes or no? There's a difference between I and minus I, yes or no? How can it be 180 degree? Just think about this. Right? When you talk about I and I, it will be same direction. It is same direction. So if it is in same direction, then cos theta is zero. Cos theta, zero. When it is opposite, then cos theta is 180 degree. Cos theta is Sorry, or theta is one degree. And this theta is zero degree. Got it? Everyone got this? Tell me, everyone got this? Now, what do you think about I dot J? Tell me, what do you think about I dot J? Cos zero is equal to one prahalad. You have to remember the value. Okay. Trigonometric values. Yes, if it is minus i and i, then it will be minus one, na? right? Cos it is minus one, simple. What is i dot j? Just think about this i dot j. Tell me, everyone, I dot J. Yes, Avya. Right, so it is one, the magnitude of one into, yes, one into cos 90 degree. Right, and we know that cos 90 degree is equal to, just use the formula. Now I've given you the formula, right? 1 into 1 into cos 90. What's, what's the value of cos 90? Yashila, tell me what is the value of cos 90? Right? 0. Yes, aware. So this will be 0. Got it? Okay. So in the same way, j dot j is equal to j dot j will be equal to 
J dot J, J dot J of where? One, yes, J dot J, one, na? Same direction, J dot J. J dot K, 90 degree. Right? So zero. And same with K dot K. K dot K will be equal to one. Got it? Everyone got this? Right? Everyone got this? Okay. How many of you know multiplication? I hope everyone know multiplication. Is there anyone who don't know how to multiply? Can you multiply these two? X plus Y. Prahlad, it is unit vector. Na? I, J is a unit vector. Right? And what's the definition of unit vector? That its magnitude is 1. Can you multiply these two? Tell me. Can you multiply these two? Can you multiply these two? Tell me. Multiply. What is the answer? Tell me. Multiply and tell me what is the answer. Yes, Abhay, very good. Right, so what you do? You multiply this with this. So it is 2x squared. Then this with this minus 3xy. Then this with this plus 2xy. Then this with this minus 3y squared. That's what you did, yes or no? That's what you did, no? Yes, right? 2x squared minus 3xy plus 2xy. Minus three y square. So this is the basic method to multiply. Obviously, it should be same for everything, na? It should be same for everything. Yes or no? Right? Now, just think about this. You have to multiply these two vectors, right? You have to multiply these two vectors. Can you do this? Tell me. Can you do this? Can you multiply two i cap plus three j cap with 3i cap plus 2j cap, sorry, 4j cap. If you think about it, I'm just asking you to multiply, just multiply, right? So it will be 2i cap into 3i cap, right? It will be 2 into 3, right? Now, this is i dot i, i dot i. Just write it clearly. I dot I. Okay. Got it. 2 into 3. Then I dot I. When you talk about second term, 2I into 4J. 2 into 4, then I dot J. I dot J. Now we are dekhe na I dot I. Right. Multiplication in vector right out of different type it is not same as 2 into 2 which is 4 because this is vector they have direction also right got it now in same way j dot i 3 into 3 j dot i three into three j dot i and 3 into 4, j dot j. Got it? Yes or no? Tell me. This one, everyone got this? Yes, yes, yes. Right? So I can say that this i dot i, 1, i dot i. i dot i will be 1. i dot j, 0. j dot i, 0. j dot j, 1. Yes or no? Yes or no, everyone. Yes or no. Right? So what is the last answer? Just think about this. What will be the last answer? Last answer would be just this. 6 plus 12, which is equal to 18. Yes, very good. 18. Right? Now just think about this. Just think about this. 18 is a scalar value or a vector. 
tell me 18 is a scalar value or a vector scalar right hai na scalar value is 18 yes very good so now you know how to find the multiplication of two vectors when the product is scalar i hope everyone understood this yes everyone got this okay very good so just try some problem right now just think about this what is the answer of first problem you will see it on the screen wait for some minute Okay, sorry, my voice was uh, disconnected. So yeah, I'm asking, what is the angle between x-axis and y-axis? Ninety degree, right? And what is cos ninety degree? What is the value of cos ninety degree? Zero, na Shakib, right? So obviously, one into one into cos ninety will be zero only. That's why i dot j is equal to zero. Okay, right? I hope all of you got this. And yes, Shash, in the same way, in the same way, we have k dot k is equal to one because again it is one into one into cos zero, na? That's why k dot k is equal to one. Okay. Now, where x axis or y axis के बीच में angle कितना होता है? What is this angle? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what you have to do. So first one easy. First one everyone's solved. I gave you the formula. A dot B is equal to magnitude of A into magnitude of B into cos theta. Got it, everyone? Right? Got it? Okay. Second problem. Now, second problem. Just think about this, right? Yes, yes. Second problem. Now tell me, right? Forget about this problem. Just tell me this. This is your r vector. Yes or no? This is your r vector. Yes or no? Yes. Very good. This is your x-axis. I vector yes or no? Now, what is the component of this R vector on x-axis? Tell me, what is the component of R vector on x-axis? We have already studied that. What is the component of R vector on x-axis? When this angle is theta, obviously. Tell me. Yes, Prasad. Very good. So it will be R cos theta. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes or no? Magnitude of R cos theta. Yes. And what is the direction? It will be I cap. Yes or no? Right. Our projection will be just R cos theta. Now just think about this. Can, wait. Can you write? Can you write r cos theta as r into one into cos theta? Tell me. Can you write it like this? R cos theta. Can we write r cos theta as r dot r into one into cos theta? Anyone have any issue with this? 
आर इंटू वन इंटू कॉस थीटा एनी वन हैव एनी इश्यू जस्ट टेल मी एनी वन हैव एनी इश्यू नो राइट नाउ टेल मी कैन दिस बी रिटर्न कैन दिस बी रिटर्न एज आर द वेक्टर डॉट आई वेक्टर tell me r vector dot i vector because it is r dot i is equal to r into r 1 into cos theta where theta is angle between i vector and r vector yes or no yes or no so if i am telling you if i am telling you if i am telling you right that if i'm telling you that okay if i'm telling you that i'm having this vector first of all what is the meaning of projection projection means component projection means component on that vector so we have already done that so this is your i vector this is your r vector right so i told you the projection along this x vector i vector right is your x component which was r cos theta Which can be written as r into one into cos theta, and this is nothing but r vector dot i vector. Yes or no? Puneet, I explained it again. Okay, now just think about this. If if I change it, if I change it, just think about this. Suppose. this is r vector again but instead of this i vector i told you that this is your another vector right this is your suppose b vector b vector okay right b vector and i have to take the component of r vector along b vector then what will be it will be same na tell me it will be same because you don't have to worry about this you just have to find this component Yes or no? You just have to find this component. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? And this is theta. This is theta given. So what is this? Right? I'm explaining this again only, Yashesh. Okay. Right? You just have to take the component. Projection means component along that vector. So this is nothing but this is R cos theta only. it will always be r cos theta because it is a right angle triangle base of right angle triangle always right so it will be r cos theta only which will be r into 1 into cos theta now this will change r now tell me what is this vector is this i vector is this x axis tell me is this x axis it is a b vector so should we do r dot b vector or should we do r dot b cap vector tell me this one is correct or this one is correct this one or this one very good b cap hai na because we we have to find only a unit vector right we just have to know the direction right so this is wrong this is wrong this is correct it is r dot b cap got it everyone just tell me did you get this yes or no yes or no 
So if I ask you, what is the projection? Projection of a vector, a vector on b vector, right? Tell me, what will be the answer? What is the projection of a vector on b vector? What will be the answer? Option A. Option A. A vector dot B vector. Option B. A vector dot B cap vector. Option C. A cap versus dot B vector. Option D. A cap dot B vector. Sorry, A cap dot B cap vector. What is option? Option B. Very good. Very good. Everyone? Okay, you understood? Very good. Option B. Very good. Option B. Yes, very good. Okay, so you understood? Now, tell me, what is the answer of second one? Tell me, what is the answer of second one? First, right? A dot B cap, right? Yes, so the answer is this one. Okay, third, tell me third, true or false? Third, true or false? Now you have to understand, it is a scalar value or vector value. Just think about this. It is a scalar value or vector value. Scalar. So 2 into 3 or 3 into 2. Won't it be same? It is true now, right? Because it is 1 into 1 into cos theta, right? So you write this one first or this one first? How does it matter? So it is true. Okay. okay. What is the fourth one? Tell me. Fourth one. Prahlad, the definition of dot product, you just have to worry about value and the angle between them. Direction ka bhi socha kya hum log in dot product mein? Naina. Yes, very good. One. What about five? Question five. Question five. See, it is zero, right? Yes, Yashila. Yashash. Prahlad, very good. This is 90 degree, na? right? We just saw that 90 degree. Yes, very good. Everyone, Vashnavi, Puneet, Mansa, Nitin, very good. 90 degree. Chike? Got it? Because it is zero, na? Chike? If magnitude is not zero, but product is zero, then it is 90 degree. Now, question was six. Try to solve question was six. Everyone, try to solve question was six. So we have f vector as, I'll just post it over here. We have f vector, right? f vector equal to what? 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 5k cap. 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 5k cap. And r vector is equal to Seven i cap plus three j cap minus two k cap. Seven i cap plus three j cap minus two k cap. Find w, which is f dot r, f dot r, right? Yes, multiply f dot r. 
it's fine because i'm repeating again again don't worry about that so find w which is f dot r work done right when force of 3 i cap plus 2 j cap plus minus 5 k cap move a body to this distance okay I'll check yes yes This is the question rationally. F is given, R is given. Okay, thirty-seven. Most of you are getting thirty-seven. So just have a look, everyone. Just have a look. So we will have product like this: three i cap plus two j cap minus five k cap. Dot, dot, seven i cap plus three j cap minus two k cap. So we know that shortcut, right? Shortcut means if i will be multiplied by with i, then we will have one. Otherwise, it will be zero. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? If i will be multiplied by i, then it will be one. Otherwise, it will be zero. In the same way, if j is multiplied by j, it will be one. Otherwise, everything will be zero. If k will be multiplied by k, again one. Otherwise, zero. If I can just multiply i component, which is three into seven, i dot i plus j component. Two into three j dot j minus into minus plus five into two k dot k. Got it? So this this is twenty one plus six plus ten, which is equal to thirty seven. Got it? It is equal to thirty seven. Yes, answer is thirty seven. Easy, easy, easy.
Okay, very good. So I hope all of you understood this. So shall we solve one more problem based on this? Yes. Shall we solve one more problem? Okay, solve this question by one. Solve this question, question number one. Sorry, sorry, I was mute. Yes, Abhya, correct answer. Mansa, it is visible now. See, answer is zero. Check everyone, answer should be zero, right? Hena, deko, i dot i, i i wala component. So, three into seven, kitna ho gaya? 21. Again, j wala component to hai nahi, to j wala component nahi ho ga kuch bhi. Then, k wala, right? Minus seven into three, minus 21. So, minus 21 plus 21, zero. Yes, you can keep seven i cap plus zero j cap plus three k. So it will be zero only. Message to co-host. Now we have message to, sorry, not co-host, host. Right, everyone is messaging as host, na? Thika? Right, got it everyone? Sabko samaj mein aagya? Ek aur question, jaldi? Ek aur question batao? Zero na true hai na, sahi to hai. 90 degree na, mutually perpendicular means 90 degree. Right? Now tell me, find M if A and B are perpendicular. Now tell me, if A and B are perpendicular, just think about this. If A and B are perpendicular, then A dot B is equal to kya hota hai? Abhi mene kya bola? Right? Zero, yes. Right? So can you solve question number two? Can you solve question number two? Try solving question number two. Yes, Shash, whatever you have asked, right? Since there is no i complaint, it will be 0 i cap. So the answer would be just 3 into 721. As simple as that. You just have to multiply i with i, j with j, k with k. As simple as that. Okay. Try to find question number 2. Everyone, try to find it.
Okay. Yes. So answer minus two many students saying minus two many students saying two. Let's see. So m into minus three. Just multiply this, right? M into minus three, which is minus three m. Then four into m j j j and j. So it will be plus four m. Then minus one into minus two, which is plus two. This should be equal to zero. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? This you understood, right? So minus three m plus four m is m only, na? This will give you m is equal to minus two, right? Yes, answer is minus two. Got it, everyone? Tell me, got it, everyone? Okay, very good. Now just think about this. Just think about this. What is cos theta? Tell me what is cos theta. In r dot r one or a dot b, a dot b is equal to mod of a into mod of b into cos theta, right? So can you write like this? Cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by mod of a into mod of b. Yes or no? Can you write it like this? Right. Now, can you find mod of a and mod of b separately? If a vector is given, suppose you have a vector, right, which is i cap plus j cap plus two k cap, two k cap, right? Jati, I just took this. In the numerator and cross multiply it. Now that's what I did, right? If we have two x is equal to five, then x is equal to five by two, na? Right? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? We just cross multiply it, na? So that's what I did, right? I just cross multiplied it. Okay. Now my question is: Suppose we have vector r is equal to i cap plus j cap plus two k cap. What is the magnitude of vector r? Tell me. What is the magnitude of vector r? It is One squared plus one squared plus two squared. Yes or no? Yes or no? Hey na, we have studied that, right? So I know that. I know that if I'm having a vector, if I'm having a vector, i cap plus j cap plus k cap, right? So if I'm having a vector, yes, yes, I'm telling you, if I'm having a vector. X i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. R vector is equal to then magnitude of R vector will be root of x square plus y square plus z square. Got it? Yes or no? Got it? Nitin, are you getting now? Tell me, Nitin. Are you getting? Okay, है ना? Right. So this is the magnitude of vector in three dimension. Two dimension में क्या होता है? X square plus y square. Three dimension में extend कर दो, z square कर दो. ठीक है? Got it, everyone? So can you solve this problem? Question number three, last problem of today's class. Last problem of today's class. Find the angle between vector A and vector B. Everything is written on the screen, right? Yes, yes. I'll upload Vashnavi. I have uploaded the previous lectures also. You guys can see that, right? I have uploaded all the vectors video, I guess. So I will upload this one also. Don't worry. In fact, I'll upload after one hour, right? As soon as it gets recorded, I'll upload it. I'll upload few questions, Prahlad. Okay. 
सात्विक वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस थीटा कैन नेवर बी मोर देन वन ना क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आई एम सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री okay so when you are answering the question so i said that if i'm having a vector if i'm having a vector a dot b this is equal to magnitude of a into magnitude of b into cos theta so i can say that cos theta is equal to a dot b Why magnitude of A into magnitude of B? Yes, yes, everyone, just raise your hand if you get this. Just raise your hand. Vikas, Vatsav, Vastav, Yashila, Mansa, Darshan, Bhavani, Jyoti, Melissa, Radhika. Everyone is getting this. Yes, very good, very good. So. we know that a dot b just find a dot b first a dot b is what is a dot b tell me in this problem what will be a dot b so 1 into 2 2 plus minus 2 into minus 2 4 plus 1 into 2 which is 2 so this is equal to 8 Yes or no? Yes or no? Eight. Are we eight now? Right? Okay. Very good. So this is a dot b. Now we have to find mod of a. So mod of a is equal to root of. Now just think about it. this is one. So one square. This is minus two. So plus of minus two square. Plus this is one. So one square. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes, so this is equal to what? Root of six. Yes, everyone is getting this in the same way. What is mod of b? Root of two square plus minus two square plus two square. So can you just write it like this? Root of twelve. everyone is getting this which is nothing but which is nothing but yeah so this is 4 root 3 okay now as i said cos theta cos theta is equal to a dot b by mod of a into mod of b which is 8 divided by root 6 into 4 root 3 yes or no Okay, yeah. Sorry, my bad. It will be two root three. Yes. So four. Now tell me, will this be this four by three root two? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Four by three root two. Okay. Right, so this is your answer. It's not zero, right? Yeah, no, it's not zero, no. It's not one, right? Got it, everyone? So this is your answer. This is your answer. You can just leave as it is, or you can just rationalize and convert into four root two 
by 2 into 3. So you can just write like this 2 root 2 by 3. Okay, this is your, sorry, 2 root 2, not 2 root 3. Because what is the mod of a vector? I told you the mod of a vector is root of x component ka whole square plus y component ka whole square plus z component ka whole square. So what is x component? One, na? Ah, one square. What is y component? Minus two. What is z component? One, right? Shakib, itna hi kabhi chhod dena hai. Because angle will be cos inverse two root two by three. Chika, right? You cannot find all the angles as I told you in last class. Yes. Got it? No difference. It's a magnitude only in a Prahalad. The formula of magnitude. Okay, very good. So now we are two, two will get cancelled now. See, if you transpose two, four will cancel by two, which will be two now. Got it? Just check now we are. Okay. No, I got a call. That's why it was. Uh, Nitin, we rationalized by root 2 into root 2. Root 2 by root 2. Got it? So root 2 into root 2, 2. So 2 will divide 4, 2 times. So it will be 2 root 2 by 3. Got it, Nitin? That is notation, Prahlad. That is notation of inverse. Forget about that. Okay. Right? That we will study some bit, someday else. Okay. Inverse. Right? Okay, so I hope all of you understood dot product. Just raise your hand. Everyone understood dot product. Please watch your video, this video again once for better understanding. Okay, I'm not giving any homework for now, right? I'll just upload the, these problems and the module. You can try yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Rahul, 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 Rahul,